Hello everyone, so today I have another unboxing video for you. Now this, I believe, is the base model from the original 1990s Hoover Pure Power lineup. It's in the green colour, well it should be green anyway. Um, so hopefully everything inside will be okay. But here's the box anyway, um, very 90s looking. So that's that side and as you can see on this side, it's the same on all sides, there's only these this side and the front of the box that have a different picture on. But anyway, on this side here you can see it, it tells you it has a four metre hose, edge cleaning, tool storage and good filtration, I'm assuming that's what that means, and the lovely original Pure Power logo. So, let's get this unboxed and see what's inside. Alright, so I've just laid the box flat so we can open it. So, I think it'd probably be better if I turn it this way, actually. And I'm not sure if it's... Oh, there's a little... I'm not sure if you can see this. There's a little picture, a little diagram, I should say, showing that that's the right way up. I'm assuming that's what that means anyway, but we'll soon find out. So I have my little nail scissors, they should suffice. Um, the box is quite water damaged, so hopefully everything's going to be okay. Um, anyway, I'll just cut the tape here. Now, I believe the seller has more than one of these, because I've seen it relisted multiple times after I purchased mine. So they must have had like a pallet of them or something. There we go. So yes, as you can see, the water damage there. So, first thing we have, apart from the damaged box, <laughs> is the manual. So it's in a little plastic bag and it is open as you can see. Now these machines were uh, listed as graded or display and uh, so they are actually brand new they just have been out the box etc or they were factory seconds um, so they may not quite be factory fresh but I'm hoping that mine's okay anyway but here's the manual very typical affair with the leaflet type design there. We also have a little, I have a few of these that I have with other manuals from Turbo Power 2s etc. It's an order form basically, some really old pricings there. It just says trouble free cleaning for years to come. And you also get a little envelope, which apparently you sent to Warwickshire. But anyway, that's the uh, paperwork. Just set that aside. So, I have unboxed one of these 90s Pure Pals before, so I am familiar with how they come out of the box. They're very much the same as new ones anyway. I just don't think they use as much polystyrene now. But... Ah, it is the right way up. That's good. So, oh, I didn't. Ex wow, I didn't expect that. Right, I'll show you what I've just spotted. So here's the handle, and for some reason, the colour of it on my viewfinder looks very different than it really is. It's a much darker green. But anyway, as you can see, it has the Hoover logo. And get that into focus. The Hoover logo on the on the handle. Um, that was missing on the one that was pictured on eBay. So hope so. Uh, oh, well, it's just fell off. I can see why it was missing. But I'll stick back on, no problem. There we go. So that's good. And of course, it still has the little sticker holding the screw in place to fasten the handle. So there we are. That's the handle. So let's have a look. We have the 
pack of tools. Now, originally they used to pack the hose separately. It's already attached to the machine now, which why, uh, which is why usually they tend to be distorted. But as you can see, they pack it separately on the old one, so this should be okay. So here's the hose. Now, yes, on the eBay listing, it was um, had like a white residue, and as you can see. This one does as well. I'm not sure what that what that's about. Perhaps it stops it from sticking together maybe, I don't know, when they were making it. But it's definitely brand new anyway, as you can see. Very, very much unused. And that's the original Pure Power hose hand grip. It's got like a curved design. Um, later Turbo Power 2s use this type design as well, and the Turbo Power 3 as well. But yes, that's supposed to reach right up to the top of the stairs. So that's the hose. You have the two small tools, which haven't changed at all um, on the newest models. You have the stair grooming upholstery nozzle with the little brushes on the back there. This, was, this tool was first introduced on the Turbo Power 3. It's a decent upholstery nozzle. I do prefer the one that came with the Turbo Power 2. But it's not too bad, and it has a little, little um, notches in there where you can insert the crevice tool, so you can use the extension one and the crevice tool together with this on the end, or the dusting brush to extend the reach. Speaking of, here is the dusting brush. It's softer bristles than the newer models, to my knowledge, from what I remember of the newest ones. Um, well, that's pretty nice. Definitely unused, both of these. No marks on them at all, so that's good. We have a spare bag, which, now, this is quite a rare thing to see, a yellow Pure Power bag. If, if anyone's seen the original um, 1980s Hoover Turbo Power 1 bags, you'll know, you'll know that they're bright yellow. Um, so they used to be yellow Hoover bags, the genuine ones. They tend to be like a brown colour now. So that's quite... Interesting. I don't think I'll use that. I'll keep that unused. So we have a... Oh, that's quite water damaged, isn't it? A Hoover service plan booklet. Yeah, a bit tatty, but anyway. That's that. And there's also a quick start guide on how to attach the hose to the machine. So that's the packet of uh, tools. Let's move those out the way for now. So I think the only thing to come out are the, the crevice tool and extension one that are already on the machine. That's good. At least they're not missing. So I just need to pull the whole thing out now. a bit stiff, it doesn't want to come into the world, it's been in the box for 20 years. So, oh there we are. Oh that's nice, it still has the original sales sticker. With the seller having multiple models, um, sorry, multiple amounts of this model, um, I wasn't sure whether they would all have the sales sticker, but this does, so that's cool. So I've got the card there, still in its original packaging. box out the way. It wants to fall over, never mind. So here we are. Lift it out of its polystyrene. I really don't know why it's coming up this colour on camera. It's much darker than it's showing on my viewfinder. But anyway, I'll just move the packaging out the way. So I'll just reposition the camera and we can see what we get with this machine. Okay, so this is everything you get in the box. You of course have the cleaner itself and the power cord, the handle, the paperwork, a spare dust bag, the dusting brush, the upholstery nozzle, the extension wand, the crevice tool, and of course, last but not least, the most indispensable part to the machine, the hose. 
Now I just gave the machine a quick look over off camera and it really is pristine. To be honest I don't think it's ever been out of the box this particular example. It really is pretty much factory fresh. I'm really really pleased with it. It's in much much better condition than the one that was pictured on eBay. So if the seller has any more of these at the date of making this video and they're still available to buy then I would totally purchase one. They really are worth it. It's an old UK made pure power the quality is streets ahead, and if the condition is anything like the one I have here, then it's totally worth it. So, without further ado, let's assemble it. So the first thing to do is assemble the handle. So you'll find the smaller screw at the bottom there, covered by a piece of tape, which you need to remove. And then you can release the screw. There is another screw that's already attached in the housing there. So basically, typical affair with most assembling of vacuums, you just push the handle into place like that till it marries together to the machine. And we screw the screws in, which if they're new like this is, it's quite difficult to screw in. doesn't seem to want to go in any further. I won't force it anymore but that's pretty flush. We do up the top one. And there we are. That's the handle in place. The next thing we need to do is attach the tools. So first of all we'll pop on the extension wand that goes on the left side. Next, the scabbard crevice tool. That fits down the right hand side. The dusting brush sits at the top here. Nice click. And finally, the upholstery nozzle sits right beneath it and clicks in place like so. The next thing we need to do is to attach the hose and to do that we take this end of the hose and you'll notice there are two pips, one on either side and they match up with the notches on the back of the bag housing. So we line them up and insert the hose. We give a quarter twist to the right and that locks it in place so that it doesn't come out. Then we take this clip here and hook it onto this storage bracket here. Then we wrap the hose around the top there, clip it on the right hand side and finally insert the end of the hose into the cleaner head, like so. The last thing to do is to wrap up the cord. As you can see it's still in its original little packaging here. So we need to remove the plastic band and we can take the bag off I just undo the little wire cable tidy there so here's the card now you get about 8 meters on these original pure power models now because they were top of the line uprights in the 90s you did get a reasonable length of cord, unlike they are now, which is about 6 metres. You did get quite a long cord on these original Pure Power models. And, as you can see, it has a nice moulded plug on the end. So there we are, the machine is now set up. So here she is, fully assembled and ready for her maiden voyage. I'm really, really pleased with this machine. It's in absolutely pristine condition. I didn't expect it to be so good. As you can see, the reflection on that, I haven't polished this. This is exactly as it is after I've just assembled it. So I'm in handheld mode, so I can give you a bit of an overview of the machine. 
So here we can see the cleaner head. It's got the nice original pure power lettering. It says 1200 underneath to indicate the motor wattage. It says edge cleaning and it really does edge clean and I'll show you why in just a minute. Further up is the four position height adjustment. We have short pile, medium pile, long pile and hard floors and your extra long pile carpets and tools. Most of the time I just leave it on the second to lowest setting there. On this side you can see the hose which provides the suction to the cleaner head. You have a bump around the front there and there's a, a bit of a hard plastic bumper around the side. Further up there you can see the royal appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. So there's the sales sticker still intact which is really cool. It says Hoover Pure Power 1200 watts U3120 Total filtration system stair cleaning. It says that on the back door there permanently printed stair cleaning total filtration. I always found it interesting how the Pure Powers had this little emblem in the centre of the back door. They still do, I believe, says the Hoover Cleaner. Anyway, let's open the back door and have a look. Of course, original yellow paper bag. We have the post mo sorry, the pre-motor filter. Ah, so it's a double layered affair. You have the little coarse sponge one there and then the carbon one underneath which is supposed to prevent odours. Now these early Pure Powers had the original style bag connector as you can see it's this little cassette thing and it seals the bag as you pull it out like so using that little notch there to hold it in place as you pull and I wish they would have kept this design it's so much better but I uh, probably won't be able to get this back in now. Ah, there we go. But yeah, it's it's much more secure. There we are, that's in place. Pop the back door back on. Lovely, lovely click there. Very good quality in comparison to the new ones. So, further up here we have the bag full indicator light, something that's absent on the modern Pure Powers. Of course it would be because they're extremely budget now whereas this was just the base model of a top of the line cleaner at the time. And there's the on off switch. There we have the famous Hoover logo. Turn around to the back of the machine we have the top cord hook which does swivel 360 degrees. We have the 8 meter cord there's the lower card hook which also serves as a carrying handle. We have the two small tools and the the wand and crevice tool on each side. There's the hose and at the back here is the post motor filter. You can remove that and there's your post motor filter. This is just the basic one. There were HEPA and S-Class post motor filters available for these pure powers at the time. In fact I have the top of the line 1400 watt pure power S class with auto sense. So it's nice to have this base model as well. But as you can see, definitely brand new. This is something that would go quite grey very quickly because of the carbon dust from the motor. So that's the uh, filter at the back anyway. Just pop this back on. Here. There we are. And there's also a little diagram, as you can see, telling you what to do with the hose. And it's saying that that's not how you store it there on the bottom clip. You store it on the top clip. So you only use this bottom one here to lower the centre of gravity when you're using the machine to clean upholstery, say like curtains and sofas, etc. Because you don't want the machine falling over. So when that's clipped at the bottom it follows you rather than falling over. Um, when you clean stairs you leave it detached altogether and it reaches all the way to the top of the stairs. So here's the handle release pedal which is much better on these early pure powers. It actually has a proper spring in it 
you can see it springs back like that. I can press that easily with my thumb. Much, much better quality. So at the back here we have the rating sticker. Just let you peruse at that at your leisure. It looks like it was made in the 18th week of 97. Let's just have a look underneath. So here is the original Pure Power brush roll. As you can see it has the rotating edge cleaning brushes which really does get close to the edge. It does a much better job. Now this isn't the activator because as you can see it doesn't have the beta pads and the bristles are a bit more sparse. Um, but yeah, that's the original Pure Power brush roll. And there's the undercarriage wheels. There's a slight bit of rust on there. But definitely never been used, as you can see. Very nice. So, what I'll do is I'll put the camera back on the tripod and we'll have a little bit of a demo of this. So, it's plugged in and ready to go. So hopefully it won't blow up when I first turn this on. But let's see how this works. Here we go. So there we have it, that was the unboxing on this really cool, brand new and unused old stock 1997 Hoover Pure Power model U3120. As you could hear it ran as sweet as anything. There was a little bit of vibration in the brush roll but you know some of them did. But I'm really really pleased with it, I'm so glad I've got it. So if there are any more on eBay and you're interested in buying one of these then I wouldn't hesitate in buying one. They are such good quality compared to the new ones. They're really worth it and they're a nice collector's piece. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I won't be doing a full dirt test demo with it because I don't want to, you know, dirty it up too much rather than just general use. Um, so this is all you're going to get, I'm afraid. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I've got plenty more videos to come. It's just finding the time to do it because I do work quite long hours. But hopefully it won't be too long before you see some more content from me. So thank you very much for watching as always, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you like to do, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.